What's up, you guys? I want to show you a very crazy integral here. The inverse tangent of x over x squared minus x minus 1 uh, dx from 0 to a half. I think this was, I think this is a math journal problem. Uh, my, I think it's from Sean M. Stewart, but I could be wrong. But I thought about something um, very, very sneaky. Uh, I don't know if this is the official solution. But pretty much, what I want to do is I want to do kind of a not forcing a Fulani, but it's I don't think it's nothing to do with a Fulani, but it's something to do with this identity here. So we're gonna use this identity. Okay, inverse tangent x plus y over 1 minus xy. Okay, so we're going to use this. Oh no. No, I forgot how I did this. No! How did I do this? Okay, so I remember now. So, you, it's it's different. It's, it's different. So, the whole idea is to do some sort of integral adhesion, like i equal i, or i equals negative i. Like, I want to do something like that. That's, that was the whole goal. So, what we're actually doing is we need to do something like inverse tangent of x minus inverse tangent of y equal x minus y of 1 plus xy. So, pretty much we want to, we want something, some number. x, right, so this cancels out with this, so I get a minus x of 1 plus 8x, right, but the thing is, what is a? What is a? Right, so we don't know what a is, and why do we need to find a? It's because of this, Deno uh, the denominator. You need to find a such that this doesn't change. Otherwise, we ain't going anywhere. So, we have to find a. So, pretty much, we literally have to let x, we're going to let x equal a minus x just for now. We'll, we'll find a later, but for now, I, I know as, as scary that actually looks um, traumatizing. Let me use u. There we go. So a minus u over one plus au. And so now, what we what this gives us is this will give us. Um, ugh, I know it looks nasty, but just bear with me for a moment. So. 0, right, we want 0, well first of all we need dx, oh god, I've, now I realize how nasty this is going to be, but this is a, I mean this is a math journal integral, so it's it's going to be nasty either way. Ew, this is what I get, alright, well, so what happens when you do British substitution, so, okay, so 0, let x equal to 0, what what makes this equal to 0? Uh, that's only if you let um, if you let u equal to a right, which, but the negative is going to make it go like that, and then whether it equals to half, how do we let make this into a half? Um, Uh, uh, <laughs> we have to solve for u a minus I'm sorry wait yeah a minus u plus a u I'm gonna be lazy uh, 2a minus 1 and I get u a plus 
2. So u is equal to 2a minus 1 over a plus 2. <laughs> so, we have 2a minus 1 over a plus 2. Okay. So, ah, would you look at that? How, how crazy. Do you, so we want the bounds to be zero and a half, right? So from that point, we could just, it's not the denominator that determines it, it's the bound that determines it. So what do we need? What does A need to be? One half, right? This is one half, we get zero, we get one half, we get a half, just like that. Ooh, nice, spicy, okay. So in that case, a is equal to a half. So A is equal to a half. So now, and this is safe. This is safe because A plus 2, you know, that's it's not negative 2. A is not negative 2. That's all that matters. So we have from 0 to a half. Okay. And now, now we have, let this be whatever this was. So and from this identity, we get inverse tangent of a half minus inverse tangent of x, right? Here we let x equal to x squared. Uh, technically, yeah, x, ugh, it's this whole thing. Half minus x all over 1 plus x over 2 squared. of this, I know this is nasty, and we had to deal with this as well, 2 plus, or sorry, a half plus 2, right, we had a half of 2 plus a half, literally this, I have x over 2 plus 1 squared. DX. Okay, so, woo! God, this feels like Bayer Strauss. Um, inverse tangent of a half. Now we just need to simplify everything to make sure that our denominator does become uh, whatever. Um, let's see, this is like four, five halves, five fourths. Okay, we get half minus x squared minus uh, one fourth minus x squared. My my rushingness is kicking in. This is a half minus x times x over two plus one. That's completely different. That does that's not this uh, this difference of squares. X over two plus one squared. I know my denominator did not fit, but it's okay. So again, we're gonna we have this right, and then minus. Oh god! Okay, just don't screw up. Oh, minus five fourths. Oh, because I have a five fourths here. Oh, okay, and then the x is. I got negative 5 for x as well. Oh, okay. So this cancels out. And this gives me x squared minus x minus 1. Ah! Woo! Awesome. Oh, it worked as planned. That means that we could do, we could shove this back to its integral. And now we can finally add it together, we get inverse tangent a half over x squared minus x minus 1 dx. Ah! And now we can go ahead and simply simply solve this. I don't, I don't know how to simplify inverse tangent of half, but here, this, this portion here is just completing the square, so it's x minus a half, 
we plus one minus sorry plus one fourth minus one fourth. So we get minus five fourths. Ew. Yo, I thought this was an inverse tangent integral, but no, this is a it's an inverse tanch. Let's get rid of this ugly mess first. Here, inverse tanch. Uh, sorry, inverse tangent of one half, and then here I have two over root five negative inverse tanch of two x minus one over root five. From zero to a half. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. All right. I I see why. I I see what I went wrong. So this negative five. So it is positive, right? But when I plug in zero, okay. So I'm left off with negative one square root negative one over root five, right? Now. However, this you have to notice that when we do integrals, this is a logarithm function, technically speaking, by definition. Uh, this is a logarithm function. And so when we integrate things with logs, that's a 2, should be a 2, square root, there you go. Uh, we, this is actually, um, Square root, square root of five plus one minus one. You could conjugate that if you want to. If you have a little bit of OCD, um, you can square this. And this is like five minus one fourth. Uh, this is technically the going ratio. This this is literally one plus the going ratio, or, or I'm sorry, uh, phi square. This is literally phi square. That's so I was right. I was right the entire time. You don't flip it. Okay. Man, I thought I was hallucinating. So it is a negative number. Oh my god. So it was 1 over phi square. I was right. I was motherfucking right. Okay, so here it is. Here we go, Ellen of the negative answer. This is what we have. All right. Awesome. That's it. That's what I wanted to share you with this because this this was sneaky as hell, right? You're forcing, uh, you're using the arctan identity to force that that integral cancellation, right? And then you go ahead and uh, complete the square. The nastiest part was doing the the British substitution to manually. Uh, force that arctan identity as well as finding a and checking the, that the denominator that the denominator matches so Yeah, there you go. Will we ever have this in integration B? Hell no um, but I Mean in math journal or in putnam exams, right? This is a technique that you could be aware of something that you could perform Okay or maybe maybe it does. Maybe you might see this in integration B, but a lot nicer, a lot simpler polynomials on the bottom. Maybe uh, that depends. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a technique that you could try and be aware of at the back of your head. Okay. All right. Woo! I'm sorry you had to see all of that because that was uh, that was nasty. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.